Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new flashback under Herrera card to review today. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I wish they formatted his pace differently, but I will say that the higher acceleration is actually very nice. Uh, with Ander Herrera, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, three star scales, four star weak foot. Don't really care that he doesn't have the scale moves. It's very important that he actually has the weak foot to be played in the midfield position as someone who could potentially attack and defend, right? Uh, player traits. He has the dives into tackles trait, huge plus there. He has the outside foot shot trait, a huge plus there as well, if you ever get him on the attack. Uh, because he is a six foot tall player with probably an average body type, let's check. Lean body type, that's actually way more helpful. Yeah, that's way more helpful. So this card has really good dribbling stats for someone who has a lean body type. So that's actually very, very nice. Okay, so shadow chemistry style, lean body type. He's going to have 96 acceleration with an 88 for sprint speed. What's important is that the acceleration is at least high. Okay, so he does have the 96 for acceleration, but it is nice that both of them are high for the meta of the game. But for shooting, uh, 78 for finishing, sure, but he does have 89 for shot power. So if he does get into some specific situations, he might be able to score some opportunities. Uh, passing on the card with a four star weak foot, 92 for composure, uh, set up very nicely for this card. Uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with because again, he does have that lean body type. Defensive stats, when you do give this card a shadow chemistry style, he's gonna be working with Essentially perfect defending, except for defensive awareness. The heading accuracy is always going to be random. These guys can have 90, and it'll still be random sometimes. But, um, you know, defensive awareness at a 93 is still solid because he has that high defensive work rate. As you guys know, high, high work rates is a huge meta for the midfielders in this year. Uh, and then last but not least, he doesn't have strength to work with that lean body type, right? So that is one thing, but he does have really high aggression. So that with the acceleration could be something very helpful to work with at a 92 for stamina. So again, guys, with cards like this, you want to mainly defend with them, right? You want to see what they're like defensively, how they position themselves on the pitch, all of that good stuff. So what we're going to actually do here, if my boy actually has a setup for this, is we can use 3412. I've been using the 352 recently. Pretty solid for what it is. Uh, but we'll just use this because we just have to see how he kind of plays in that position. Ben Yenner, Neymar... Uh, but yeah, there's got to be here. Neymar got to switch. Yeah. The rest of the team doesn't really matter, though. We just have to kind of test out Herrera in the midfield position. So, yeah, he's going to be on stay back while attacking C on the edge of the box with a cross. And I'm also going to add that 3-5-2 here as well. I might use this formation more because this formation actually revolves around the players not on stay back while attacking. So they just kind of like move freely across the pitch. 50. And then this is on that. And the instructions is pretty basic. It's just come back for these guys then stay forward for the cam. Okay, let's go try it out. If I hit that on the green, I actually think I score that. Wow. It's hard to tell because of these shadows, man. These shadows are crazy. Oh, wow, I hit Neymar's head. What are the odds of that? Oh, we didn't get that. I got to switch this ball to white, Q, because uh, the orange, the blue, like these things I cannot see when I'm... The shot's taken, I have no idea where it is. Oh, man. Funny, I actually got the touch there and I went for the shot, but a little too late there. If you're coming off of that touch a certain way, that's definitely not going to come off great. You have to be more direct there. Does some sort of animation there, but no luck. And with the three blade, three blades. Big foot pass. Green time shot. I, I have his power down, guys. If I can like consistently get those green times, like I think I'm good. Oh man, they never fall inside the 18. Never. 
There we go, a little L trigger tackle there. Lose possession of the ball, but his track back's pretty fast there. Again, high, high work rates is usually really good, so shouldn't be too big of an issue there. Thank you, sir. Got to take that interception quick. His positioning there the entire time is perfectly fine. A little bit of an aggressiveness right from kickoff. Always nice to have the weak foot for those passes. Second man press interception. All triggered tackle there. Position there for the interception. There we go, I'll trigger again. <laughs> Imagine. Ah. Uh, give that interception again. Thank you, Herrera. Oh, the initial chip would have been cool if we actually got that, but we passed by Herrera. Wow, De Gea actually saves that. It's crazy. Great pass there by Herrera, though. Oh, imagine in that distance. Well done. Intercepts that opportunity without me doing anything. To be fair, Herrera was on top of that situation the entire time. The ground switch downwards. There we go. Let's go. Well done. Pass it down. Nice. We'll take that. I forget that I can't do the rainbow flick with Neymar because he does his own rainbow flick. So I try to do like the flick there, but it didn't work. Um, Ronda Herrera. I'll put a bottom right. There we go. Tackle. There we go. Let's run this actually a little bit. A little small dirty blaze. L1R1 pass. Not a great pass. Also didn't register to Neymar there. That's who I wanted. Yeah, that works. That works. That's what I'm saying. Like, I just had to figure out the long shots a little bit. Oh, we took him out. Oh, we hit the crossbar. No. Oh, man. The dribble, dribble. Not too crazy, my friend. Not too crazy. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new flashback under Herrera card. So uh, with this card, guys, I feel like he exists like this, okay? So he's a card that exists because he has been improved to the point where he's going to be decent in the meta of the game because he has the right base stuff. I just don't think he's like crazy special, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those types of cards where they release as an SPC to give you PSG links, Spanish links with the League One links, that kind of stuff, right? Because here's the thing, right? Yes, the pace is low. Yes, it's noticeable, right? The, the sprint speed part of the card for the meta of the game 
is noticeably low in game for sure the acceleration being high is definitely a nice plus but you notice that sprint speed being a very lackluster thing to have uh ai wise because he has the high high work rates and defensive awareness is at a 93 right with decent defensive capabilities he plays in the midfield position as well as he can play for the meta of the game i just don't think he's that special right it just feels like a a car that they have improved to be good in the meta of the gameplay. That's what it feels like for him, right? Uh, the dribbling of the car with a lean body type is pretty decent for a midfielder. Can't really complain too much about that because he's working with that four-star weak foot and a 92 for composure. Um, with physical, the aggression stat is noticeable a little bit because of the high acceleration of the card, but strength in some cases you might notice being, uh, again, a lackluster thing to work with too because he does have that lean body type. So if you want someone that's more physical in that area, um, he's... Not necessarily going to be that crazy at the physical presence thing because of the body type and uh, strength. But when it comes to cards like this, it's like in Kunku, right? Like in Kunku's not like a physical guy, but he plays in the meta of the game well because he's at a, a decent height, but a little bit different, right? Because in Kunku nowadays has pretty insane pace, right? He has 91.88. So you give him a shadow chemistry style, boom, 99.98. So that for the meta of the game is fantastic with the body type and stuff, right? Um, with Herrera, like I said, it's an SPC that I feel like EA released to give you those links if you want to unlock it as an SPC. I don't think it's a crazy special card, but if you were to use this in the top divisions, lower divisions, um, it's a card that, again, has been improved to the point where he's good in the meta of the gameplay. Not a card that I would personally unlock myself on my main accounts, but I don't think that the price is that terrible uh, for what he offers in game. I just think that the pace is a little bit low for the meta of the game nowadays, and obviously with shooting, I don't care too much about shooting, to be honest. Like, you notice shooting more if you play this 3-5-2 and you want someone that, you know, can score when given the opportunity to, but at least he has a shot power to work with. So I feel like that's going to be, like, the main uh, thing for sure. But, uh, yeah, just one of those SPCs, in my opinion. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.